Hi, this is Dan Ritchie again. Uh, just a quick one this time to finish off the series on painting. And this time we're going to cover the uh, the sea sponge. Uh, great tool used in traditional painting. It's used in everything, uh, even in uh, painting painting houses and stuff, or doing faux finishes and that kind of thing. But uh, this uh, particular example, I used it uh, on a short film I did um, to create this background to simulate an old style cartoon uh, opening sequence. Um, I just used a sea sponge with, gua with gouache paint. And I started with a basic uh, warm color and I added about two or three layers of color on top of it using different colors of paint. And I'm going to go ahead and try to reproduce that now. I'll uh, start with a new image. And I'll just clear the background to a warm color. And I'll select a nice uh, foreground color for that. I'll start with a dark color and I'll work with a lighter color. And we do have a sea sponge tool in the, uh, the media browser under the watercolor tab there. Um, it's called Textured Sponge Grand. And it's just as simple as dabbing it on there. It's a very simple tool to use. I'm just going to apply that several times to make it a little darker. And we don't have to do anything really complex. We're use, just using a darker red here. Now we're going to use a lighter red uh, to get the same effect. And I'll just add that on top of what I've already done. This is just a very simple, sometimes elegant tool uh, for creating textures, for uh, all kinds of things. You could uh, paint trees with it or uh, textures in nature, tree trunks, flowers, grass, whatever. Or you could use this as nice background uh, to just for um, creating a painting. You could paint flowers on top of this or um, other objects, that kind of thing. This could be a, a background like a wallpaper on a wall, that kind of thing. And you could uh, you could use that same tool to create lighting effects. Like this, this is a light area over here, and the darker areas over this way uh, by using progressively darker colors. As you see what I mean, just getting darker and darker on this side. And you could probably put a highlight color right in here just to simulate a little bit. And that would be a quick way of doing a um, like a wallpaper or something in the background of a, of a painting. Then you could put like some like a dresser door here or a lamp or something. Or if you put a lamp right here, that would look like it was a uh, light was shining on the back of there. Um, just a very versatile tool, very easy to use. And that uh, basically wraps up our current series on painting. I've got a few ideas for future series, like uh, going over different ways to simulate various kind of medias, like watercolors, oils, wash, and that sort of thing. But that'll be for a future date, and we'll see you again later.